Hi, YouTube land. So I know it's been a minute uh, since I've gotten a video out, and I'm so sorry. I am Melissa. I am the creator here at Lucy Nell Soaps, and I curse, cuss, whatever you want to call it. So if you don't like that, I'm sorry. You can click away or turn me down, and uh, you know it's the way I am. I'm 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 sorry. Not really. Uh, okay, let's get going. So. This is a soap for my mother, my dear mother, who loved a scent from Nurture Soap called Foxy Lady. Now, I loved the scent too, okay? So this isn't all her fault. <laughs> but this was the most god awful scent to work with ever. Not ever, ever but uh, eh, debatable. So, I'm going to make, it's kind of, it's going to be a little layered. So, <clears throat> when I put this scent in the bottom color, it did not rice. Okay. So, I'm thinking, I'm good to go. This isn't going to rice on me. Good to go. I knew it would accelerate. And that's another mistake I made. I, I waited way too long to pour the next layer but I figured still I would be okay I was not <laughs> so I'm putting this video up for all of you guys to see so that you know I fuck up okay I do I fuck up sometimes uh everybody does but I want you to see <clears throat> what soap does when it rices when you can't stick blend it out and you just got to go with it. Uh, it, 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 it turns out it's still going to be soap, but the ricing is like little scent pockets and your soap is going to be, you'll see. Anyway, but the scent of course is Foxy Lady from Nurture. I ended up making another soap for my mother in this scent and it turned out okay. Uh, it, it did turn out and it smells good and all that jazz. But, you know, I didn't film it because it was literally like go, 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 go. But you can see it on my Instagram. Um, it's the uh, purple and turquoise flower and purple and turquoise and white soap. That ended up, and I'm sorry I did not film that it, because, you know, it was just a pound of soap for only her and maybe one for me, and that's why I did not film that one. Now, we're seeing how that shit's going right here. Okay, that's solid. That, that, bottom, that bottom layer is solid and good to go so much so that you can see the solid soap in the pink. Now, I... Get the, I get the fragrance oil in this white. I'm ready to go. I don't think I have to stick blend this out, okay? Because the shit didn't stick, it didn't rice in the, in the bottom layer, okay? Well, it riced. Now, I did forget to like stir it as soon as I could, but it didn't matter. It was ricing in the pink as well, the light pink over here that you can't see. So, there we go. I have no stick blender at this point. My stick blender is so screwed up uh, with the dark pink color. Look at this. I mean, nothing I could do to stop it. I, I had to. I had to just go. Um, the soap smells like cocoa butter infused with shitty flower scent pockets I, I can't describe it in any any better than that and this is how solid like I had to put this color in which this is no problem this is another reason why I've, I'm going ahead and, and putting this on YouTube is just you can see that guys you you can you can push through and you can make a pretty soap doesn't matter you know just try not to make it rice but but if it does accelerate like a son of a bitch you can still make a pretty soap that that's fine um, and it did turn out. You guys have seen it, and you'll see it in the cut. The 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 uh, swirls turned out. They were fine. It was just the ricing of the fragrance oil and, and the ricing of my batter that just really fucked me. And 
you know, sometimes shit just doesn't turn out. And uh, that's okay. That That is okay. And uh, so this soap is maybe, you know, for hand, even though this, this recipe was extreme butter, you know, uh, lots of butters, about 30%. Uh, so it's it's a good hand soap. It's not going to smell fantastic, but it's still usable. I wouldn't sell this for like two dollars, or maybe even three. Like the, you know what I mean? Like I doubt I'll sell it at all. I may just give it to my relatives to sit and look pretty on their, I don't know what's, but uh, I I you know, it, it, shit happens, and. I've only been soaping for, oh God, this is going to take a second, since July the 6th of 2020, okay, so not anywhere near a year, let's go with six months coming up January, so of course I've had shit rice before, but you know, I'm not anywhere near a perfect 10 out of 10 soaper, I'm just not. And this right here shows, you know, you're going to have shit rice. Now, I'm going to let you know the temp real quick while you guys watch me put these on. Um, and yes, I took my gloves off. Sue me. I'm sorry. I Listen, if I'm making soap for, you know what, I ain't going to tell you all that. Okay, so anyway, um, well, shit, what was I going to tell you all? What, what was I, uh, shit, what was I saying, like? Oh my God, seriously. What was I just saying? Oh yeah, the temperature. <laughs> so I soaked at like 75 degrees because I knew with this fragrance oil, it was going to accelerate. And so I'm like, I'm prepared. And my point is you can be as prepared as you want to be. And it's sometimes it's, it's not going to matter. Um, you can be you know, as professional as royalty soaps, Katie. Yeah, Katie Carson. Uh, but she's still going to have fuck-ups. Uh, you know, the, the it just, it's just going to happen. Um, it, it's unavoidable. And my point uh, in telling you this is, A, if you screw something up, keep going. It's It's okay. We all do it. And B, even the best of the best, um, you know, make mistakes. Or, you know, even the best of the best have never done a fragrance oil before uh, or have never soaked with a fragrance oil before, and the, the fragrance oil is just going to screw them. It, it, it just happens. And so, anyway, I, I wanted to just let y'all know that. Uh, the coloring, the colorings for this soap is just uh, titanium dioxide and ballet slippers from Mad Micah's. Just two different colors of that. Like I did a really mild, uh, really, really mild mica drop in one color and then a full mica drop in the second pink to make two different pinks from this one mica. So that's all we're using is just the ballet slippers and the titanium dioxide. And then here I do sparkle I think I do Sparkle Me Gold from Mad Micah's. And that's it, guys. And I did make one of my kids uh, uh, film a little bit of how I sculpted the foxglove uh, flowers. So, you know, I figured you guys would appreciate that. You know, see me sculpting for a second. So here it is now. And uh, the thing with sculpting, I have no, I really have no tips to offer y'all. I'm going to be straight up honest. I had no idea that I could do this until I just did it. And I heard all over YouTube about soap dough, soap dough. Well, I just make my own. I always have. I've never bought it. Uh, never, you know, paid to, to have it made for me. I make my own. And all you do is make your soap, wrap it up in a plastic wrap before 
you know, while, while it's still kind of soft, and then next day, take it out, kind of play with it, wrap it back up, and then keep it in a Ziploc bag. Literally, that is all you do. Now, if you want a soap dough recipe, um, check with Mad Soaper first and see if she's got any recipes for sale. Um, and then if not, then, you know, see if uh, Sorcery Soap uh, B, see if she has uh, some recipes for sale. Or if you're like, screw that, I don't feel like making extra soap. I only want what I need for my bars, and then I'll, I would rather uh, buy it from someone than just buy straight up soap dough from Sorcery Soap. Uh, sometimes that's people's preferences. Me, I prefer to make everything on my own. And another thing, <clears throat> which I will be talking about this during my para, pa, uh, my Pirates of the Caribbean release, which, yes, it's gone from uh, Jack Sparrow for, for the last of the Johnny Depp release to an actual whole Pirates. I'm doing a whole Pirates line, guys. So Pirates 1 through 5, 6 can kiss my fucking ass since they ever are not going to have him on there. So uh, that, to me, is not a Pirates movie. So Pirates 1 through 5, all that count, fuck a bunch of Disney. Um, I will be putting that out. I'll be putting Pirates 1, uh, you know, it's going to be Jack Sparrow themed. Uh, 2 will probably be um, Barbosa. Well, no, I may do Davy Jones. We'll see. I may do Davy Jones on the third. You know what? We'll see. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> and the point of me telling you about the sculpting is I have no uh, molds, no I'm, I'm, let me tell you this again. I have no molds, okay? I hand produce everything you see in my soaps as far as soap dough. I do not have any shaping molds to help me do these designs. So when you see the pirate soap and what is inside that enormous embed that is taking me a long time, that is all hand everything. I just I just wanted to, you know, get that out there. Okay, so now we see the ricing. Do you see the scent pockets? And I almost dropped it. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's just jelly where the fragrant soil did not mix with the batter. That is what ricing does if you cannot stick blend it out. Now, again, see, now, now and they go away or they have on mine. They don't look like that anymore, but it still doesn't smell right. So again, that's why I say my relatives can just use them, you know, for the, the decorative or whatever. But I honestly wanted y'all to just go ahead and see what happens. It's a great video just to find out for yourself instead of, you know, you having to go through it by yourself. My God, I'm so bad at this. Um, it shows you what it looks like. So there you go. Every soaper fucks up. Um, it, it just happens. Some fragrant soils aren't meant to be in soap and we're stubborn and fucking put them in there anyway. But <laughs> there is Mary Kathleen. That is my beautiful mother's name. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's all good. I ended up making her a great soap with the fragrance that she loved and, you know, shit worked out in the end. So I appreciate you guys watching. Next video will be Tolelo and then I will get Jack Sparrow up for you after that. All right, my YouTube friends. Thank you. Bye.